Hello, fellow sewing enthusiast. I'm Sarah Gunn, author and creator of the fashion sewing blog, Goodbye Valentino. I am a huge tunic lover, and today I'm going to explain how to interchange plackets and necklines on your tunic patterns. It's all based on one simple principle, easy to learn, and one that will bring you unlimited possibilities to your tunic making adventures. So grab your tunic pattern and let's get started. Now, many ready-to-wear tunics and many tunic sewing patterns share a simple common bodice. I'll be working from my favorite tunic pattern today. All right, as you can tell, I've cut the pattern out. The first thing I'm going to do is thread trace the center line. Now, I do that by using a heat-soluble marker and I trace with the heat-soluble marker down the center line of the bodice, about 15 inches or so. After that, I thread trace with a needle and thread, and this is very important to do because it marks both sides of your fabric. It's easy to remove, and it's very effective and efficient. Marking your center line will be the key to your success when interchanging pieces on your tunic patterns. All right, let's move on to bodices. Now, my first placket, let's move on to plackets. My first placket is a very simple placket. I've made it just by following the neckline of the bodice. I prepare the placket by, by um, tracing the stitching line, thread tracing the center line, and interfacing the back with a lightweight knit interfacing. After I prepare the placket, following those steps, I finish the edges by turning under a half inch, then trimming. Now, this placket is gonna face the back side of the bodice. It'll be sewn from the front, so you place the placket right sides together, stitch along the stitching line, cut, turn to the inside, and you have a nice simple placket that creates an opening just for a, just comfortably so you can slip it over your head. This placket is perfect when you need to let your fabric do the talking. Um, this beautiful shibori print, uh, we want to feature the geometric design and these beautiful indigo dyes. It needs absolutely no embellishment and this simple placket does the trick. Now, take this placket and elongate it by four or five inches. Turn your sides in, but don't top stitch. This time, we are going to place the placket to the back side of the fabric. We're going to place it right side to the back side. We're going to stitch. We're going to cut, flip, and suddenly you have this nice, Outside placket, uh, when cut in a contrast fabric, it just adds a nice punch as these stripes uh, bring this little small blue and white print to life. This narrow placket is also great for color blocking options. Um, the fuchsia, it's, so, it's nice and narrow, so I cut in a fuchsia, but then I outlined the uh, placket with a half inch bias tape and finished with a little bias tape around the neck. Okay, take your elongated placket, turn it into a rectangle, and you have a bib. Now, the bib is a very fun and playful tunic. It's great in these preppy contrast pink and green fabrics or you can capture the bohemian spirit by cutting this in lace. Again, sew it from uh, right sides, sew it from the back, flip it to the front, and you've got a fun, um, a fun little frock to wear on a Saturday afternoon. Okay. Many ready-to-wear tunics, many designer tunics, uh, feature mandarin collars, and this is very attainable uh, following this principle. What you need to do, take your placket, and instead of having the narrow 
stitching line, we're going to widen that stitch and stitching line. This will open up the neckline. We're going to lower the neckline. That will create a nice uh, space and a nice angle to place your mandarin collar. Um, when you sew it to the outside and flip it to the inside, you, you can tell how this opens up the uh, neckline. It creates a nice outline in case you'd like to embellish the trim. But sew it from the back side and flip it to the outside and you have instant gratification with this nice contrast placket. Uh, the mandarin collar is sewn in the same contrast. Okay, now, easy to sew and easy to embellish is the V-neck. It's great if this is your first tunic, but it does follow different steps than what I've just shown you. Now, to get the V-neck, I created um, a V-neck facing, a back neck facing, I have sewn the front and back bodices together at the shoulder seams. As you can tell, I've placed the V-neck, I've matched my center line, and now what I'm gonna do is cut this excess fabric out. And I'm gonna take it to the machine. I'm gonna follow a 5 8 inch seam line. and I'm gonna turn it to the inside. Now, while I'm doing that, uh, many of these, as you've noticed, many of these uh, tunics are created using different fabrics. But, as we go over to the machine, I'm going to be sewing in a contrast fabric with a contrast thread. But, an all-purpose polyester thread is really all you need for your tunic sewing. Okay. All right. So it's just an easy 5 8 of an inch seam line that goes right around the neckline. Mark your pivot line, that's crucial. And your pivot line will line up with the thread trace center line. There we go. Okay. Now, at this point, all you do, remove those pins. We're gonna flip this to the inside. It's gonna create a very nice neckline, a clean V-neck, such as this. And this, this V-neck has a gold applique, a beautiful gold applique sewn right on top of it. Now, take your V-neck, sew it from the inside, and flip it to the outside. And again, you have a contrast placket. Okay. Tell me something. What do you think came first? The applique or the placket? If you guessed the applique, you're correct. This placket was created to frame this beautiful applique but it actually has many more useful purposes. I went ahead and cut the placket out of the same fabric. I matched the pattern design, so you really, it's really a little difficult to see. But look what happens when you place piping right underneath the seam line. It brings a nice detail to the front of your tunic. You can cover the seam line with braid. 
another nice detail. And of course, it's those small details that make a huge difference when we sew our garments. This placket is perfect if you want to just sew a few lace medallions on top. Or if you really like the contrast look, you can certainly cut it in a contrast fabric. And I just pulled a different type of applique that you can go ahead and embellish, could sew on for another different look. So these are just a few of the many possibilities uh, that you get when you are able to interchange your pieces with um, your necklines and plackets on your tunic patterns. So fit yourself once, follow the method of tracing the center line, and enjoy the freedom to be creative. <laughs>